Okay, we take the mesh that we cut 20 inches, roll it a couple of times, roll it a couple of times, scrunch up the center, and I didn't open up any of my ties. Put that all the way down to the frame and secure it. I'm gonna go ahead, get this opened up. I cannot wait to see what this wreath looks like. I'm excited. like a bop it commercial curl it roll it scrunch it put it in the tie I'm using a 15 to 24 inch work form. Mesh is super cute. There goes the glue gun. Almost moved it, and then I thought, no, oh, I have plenty of space. I was wrong. That is insane, you guys. Insane. You guys I always ask where I get these clips. They're from the Dollar Tree, but they're from the Dollar Tree almost a decade ago. So I don't know if this is something they still carry, but you could use any chip clip. But I love that these aren't quite as strong as the rectangular actual chip clips. Um, I used these years ago to hold my towels on my beach chairs and my chairs at the pool and different things. I had them, they were shaped like a flamingo um, that I used for my towels from Target, I think, a long time ago. They were so cute. Um, so you could probably use those if you can find those still towel clips or I guess chip clips but these little clips if they still have them from the Dollar Tree they're the best they are the best as far as pressure and all that if you have a bunch you could get an aluminum pan or a basket and you could have made these ahead of time especially if you're making more than one You'd have to have a lot of clips, but you could do that. And 
Now I'm going around this top ring. When I get done with this layer, I will show you what we have. you love this blue mesh, if you love this video, give me some hearts. And of course, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave those. I do try to come back and keep up with all of those. We are coming down to the finish line with this layer. And then we get to add what I call the party layer. It's what makes it so much fun and makes the reef really pop. And that's our pearls. more to go. This is already so pretty. Look at all those curls. Super cute. Looks great with this drift edge border mesh. Okay. This is what we have. She's cute, right? We're gonna take her up a notch. Where did I put, hold on, I need my, I need this to hold my loops. Okay. my 10 inch mesh and we roll it into a loose curl okay scrunch the center and I let that hold it and I just make them up a little bit ahead of where I'm at on my wreath. As many as it will hold.
place two of these together. Then I scrunch them in the center and I'll put them into the tie. So your woodland ruffle has two curls and then there are these two curls. You just let them all live happily together. Put them together in an X, hold them in their center, put them into the tie. You need to push them down in there. You still have ribbon packs that you need to put on here, remember? And we're gonna do this in every tie and it is going to make this wreath pop. Makes me happy. It is super cute. See all of this happiness? And it's such a great complimentary color to your wreath. Gives it a little bit more texture and dimension with that extra pop of color. I'm rolling these loosely, scrunching them in the center, and placing them in my spool holder. Roll it loosely, scrunch it down the center that in something to hold it. You could use your uh, clip wherever my clip went. You could do one at a time. If your hands are strong enough you could do two at a time and put it in each tie. I do not have strong hands at all and um, I need the tools in my shop to assist me. So that's what I do and that's why I do it. But you figure out what works best for you. X. Put it in the wreath. This tie is loose and it's misbehaving, so I'm taking that tie up around the ring um, above it and tying it off to make it behave. It's a little too loose for my comfort. Then I will go in with this and it will make it tight for that the ribbon tails that we put in, but I'll still have plenty and it'll be fine. See how full this wreath is getting and how gorgeous I love it so much. I love it so much. If you love this style of wreath, give me a thumbs up. And if you don't mind, please share this video. That helps my small business. And I appreciate you when you do that. how pretty she's getting. It's so exciting.
looks like we have about half of our wreath done. This does take a full roll of 10 inch mesh cut 10 inches. There is a video that shows you how I do that. It is dated with the same date as today and it has the correct title on it for what's happening in that video. So if you're looking, if you've stumbled upon this series and you're looking for the other videos, go to the McKenzie Cole homepage, go up to your search bar and search by date exactly the way I typed it into the video and it should bring you to all of the videos in that series should pop up for you to watch. That's why I specifically label them so you can do a quick and easy search because some of you guys are finding these videos halfway between um, and you don't know how to go back and find the ones to start so that is what I would do is go to the home page for Mackenzie Cole and search that date exactly the way I have it typed. And it should work like magic. Look at this. Look at the difference. The little bit that we don't have done. It's a cute wreath, right? But look at this. It's a gorgeous wreath. Okay. Moving on. Two together, seam down into the tie. Last ones. Look at her. Look at her. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. All right, I'll be back and we're gonna add the ribbon and make her even prettier. See you in a few. 